Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To make advanced changes to a selected shape, you can use the Format Shape dialog box to control every aspect of your shape in minute detail. You can access the Format Shape dialog box by clicking the Format Shape button in the lower right corner of the Shape Styles group on the Format tab. Note that in order for the Format tab to appear, we must have a shape selected, which is either this blue box, our text box, or the word art. Next, navigate to the Shape Styles group and click the button in the lower right corner. This will open up the Format Shape dialog box. The options that you can change for your selected shape are grouped by category within this dialog box. You can see the categories shown in a list at the left side. The categories that you can select are Fill, Line Color, Line Style, Shadow, Reflection, Glow and Soft Edges, 3D Format and Rotation, Picture Corrections, Picture Color, Artistic Effects, Crop, Text Box, and Alternate Text. To use the dialog box, select a category from the left side and then make any changes to the available settings shown at the right side. Once you have finished making your changes, you can then click the Close button to close the dialog box. Note that many of the options available within the Format Shape dialog box are identical in nature to the options that you have when formatting clip art and pictures. So, we will not review the same functions all over again. You should review the Lesson 12.5, the Format Picture dialog box, to familiarize yourself with the standard formatting options, like Fill, for example. This time, however, you will not be able to use the picture and clip art related categories, as they do not apply to shapes. Therefore, you will not have any options available in the Picture Corrections, Picture Color, Artistic Effects, or Crop categories, which is why they are grayed out. You will, however, be able to use the text box category this time if you selected a text containing shape, such as word art or a text box. This lesson will examine the settings found within the text box category when formatting selected shapes that contain text. You can click the text box category in order to change the settings that affect the appearance of the text within a selected shape. In the Text Layout section, you can set the options that affect the appearance of text within your selected shape. You can use the Vertical Alignment drop-down to select a desired vertical alignment for text in your selected shape. You can use the Text Direction drop-down to select a desired text direction within the selected shape. If you click the Do Not Rotate Text checkbox, then the text within the shape will not rotate even if the shape itself is rotated in the document. In the Auto Fit section, you can check the Resize Shape to Fit Text checkbox to resize the border of the shape to fit any text that you enter. In the Internal Margins section, you can set the internal margins of the text containing shape that you have selected. You can use the spinner boxes to set the left, right, top, and bottom margins within the object. If you want the text to wrap within the shape when it encounters the right edge of the shape, then you can check the Wrap Text and Shape checkbox to apply this setting. When you have finished making your changes to the shape using the categories that are available within this dialog box, click the Close button in the lower right corner to close it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.